welcome back to another tutorial. I am Hans Moss Planet, and today I'll be showing you how to make the Geometry Dash 2.2 Swing Copter. Um, this this is not really a complex video, so I'm gonna just go through all of this and show you how to make it. So let's start. Off by making a new project. <clears throat> and after this, we're gonna create just <clears throat> kind of create the swing copter that we want to have. Oops. I'll leave the link to this down in the description. So now I'm just gonna delete this, convert it back to vector mode, and here we have the swing concert. So I'm gonna draw um, the fire beam. Just like So now we have our costumes. So we're gonna go to the coats tab and we're gonna press green for that click. Set size to let's say 50. Um, maybe 30. 40. Yeah, 40 looks good. Or maybe... Okay, so my recording crashed, and I just re-recorded, and let's continue. So if costume number is equals to 2, we're going to create a new variable and name it Y velocity for this sprite only. I'm going to call it Y bell. And, when, and I'm gonna set it to zero when the green flag is clicked. It's, there we go. Okay. And we're gonna change this. So let's, let's put the up. Yeah, let's, let's make it go up. Change the wire velocity by three. And change y by y velocity. And if larger, we're gonna put 9 y velocity. I'm gonna set y velocity to 9. So, what this actually do is that it would change, make it change the y, the y variable, and to 3, and it's gonna repeat it until it's at 9. And while it does that, it's gonna change the y value and make it go up. So it's gonna go from slow to fast up, just like that. We're just gonna go to x, negative 140, and 0. And we're gonna do the opposite in the else. Negative 3 less than negative 9. We're gonna put negative 9 here. And when space is clicked, if control copy this custom number is equals to 2, 
we're going to put it to the down because the because when it's up, that means the costume number is two. We want to switch to the other costume, but if it's not, we're going to switch it back to this. So yeah, we basically got it done. And uh, I'm thinking it's a bit too fast. So let's do negative two. I mean two, and here is negative two. This is actually pretty good. And let's see. I'm gonna create a new variable so I can control two of these at the same time. So we're gonna make it change y. Once I change y to 2, I guess, I'm gonna change this by change y. And over here, we're gonna make a 0 minus change y. So we're gonna put like 1.5. And, yep. This is actually looking pretty good so far. And I'm gonna create another when key pressed. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be an up arrow key. Because you know in geometry dash we can use mouse down, space, and up arrow key to use, to do that. I'm gonna create another one for the mouse. We're gonna forever if mouse is down. Gonna Duplicate this. Wait, where is it? There we go. And we're gonna wait until not mouse down. And here we're gonna wait until not key space pressed. And down here we're gonna do the same before the other key. So now we have a working swing copter. Oh, I forgot to name this wing culture as well. Okay, now we're gonna go in and check the collisions. I'm gonna bring these right here. There we go. I'm gonna go to my block and create a new block. We're gonna say check collisions and make it run without screen refresh. And with this block right here, make some space. If touching edge and larger than Y position larger than zero, we're gonna put it right here. <laughs> and we're gonna repeat until not touching edge. We're gonna change y by negative one. Change y by negative one. Okay. And else, if touching edge and y position is smaller than zero, we're gonna change it by one. <coughs> and we're gonna put the check collisions at the bottom of this. Now, it'll be like this. It won't go through this. There we go. And as well, we're going to set y value to 0. That we can go down much quicker, we don't have to wait until it just change the value from, like, from uh, the positive number to the negative number. But instead, at the zero, it's gonna change to a negative number instantly. So now we have this, a working swing copter, and working collisions. And the next thing I wanna do is make rotation. So now, we're gonna just do the same on this side. 
we'll make it rotate for the sprite only. Or maybe I'm just gonna name this dir dir for direction. And we're gonna change dir by three, I guess. By okay, by two. Okay, I'm gonna go up by three. Make another variable change dir three. We're gonna change it by this. We're gonna point it point direction by dir. We're gonna grab an if. Dir is more than a hundred and five. We're gonna set dir to a hundred and five. So basically, it is at ninety right now. It's at ninety degrees right now, and when I turn it down more, like fifteen degrees, it's gonna be one hundred five. So yeah, and change this by. Zero minus change there less than seventy five to say seventy five and first we're gonna set there to ninety. Okay, we have succeeded but it's in the wrong thing right now. It's supposed to be like this when it goes up, and it's supposed to be like this when it goes down. So I'm gonna just move it like this. There we go. And we have a working swing copter. This is so fun. This is so fun to play with. I could just play like this all day. So, if you guys want to have this like cool swing copter art thing, I'm gonna put the link in the description below so you could check out this art that I made. And I'm gonna go to this the backdrop and I'm gonna convert it to back. I mean bitmap mode. And I'm gonna put it gray. There we go. If you guys want to see more or join my Discord server, link is in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.